The Uganda Medical Association and the Center for Health, Human Rights and Development have called on the government to prioritize the supply of personal protective equipment, or PPE, to frontline health workers. On Sunday, seven frontline health workers tested positive for COVID-19. Now, as far as the internet is concerned, any health worker out there, we tell you that when you fall sick, be it COVID, be hepatitis, be, be HIV, be anything that will be, you will get from the workplace, you are not going to be useful to yourself, to the patient you are treating, or to your family or your significant other. And we tell you, please lay down your tools. Or inform us so that we can escalate this situation further. The health workers who are providing care in COVID, they have a right to be compensated for any damage or injury they get while providing this care. So it is an entitlement. However, the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Health says that PPE will soon be supplied to all medical workers. Face masks, the gloves, the, the coverall in, a, in a, to our treatment centers, and the face shield. But I know that the deficit is there because, you see, we continue consuming. Every day, they consume, every day you consume, that means we have to replace, every day we have to replace. There have been questions about if the training these medical personnel received was enough. Dr. Ayela, the vice president of Uganda Medical Association, says more training is needed. But as you know, COVID is a new disease and lots of things are changing. So a one-off training is not adequate. So there is need for refresher training. As the strategy developed by using all the regional referral hospitals as treatment centers is actually working amidst the few challenges. Elegu border in Amuru district appears to be the new hotspot for the virus. In his address last night, the president said tents will be set up to host those who test positive. This would actually be the best approach because the points of entry are where cases are entering. So if you're able to stop it from there, there's likelihood of preventing cases of going to the communities. Last month, Parliament passed a supplementary budget request of 284 billion shillings to combat COVID-19. Unfortunately, only 62 billion was allocated to the Ministry of Health, which is responsible for securing PPE supplies to health workers. Gillian Nantume, NTV. Oh.